Jdev is back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead Season 2 episode review video. But before I continue with that, it's extremely important. If you're not caught up to the point where I am in watching or re-watching The Walking Dead, to pay attention to that episode title to make sure. I'll put that episode title in the description. If that's the case and you believe that you're not caught up, I recommend that you don't watch this video any further simply to avoid potential spoilers. This will be The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode Number 3. The episode title is called Save the Last One. This will be my review, reaction, recap of the episode. And keep in mind, I've watched this episode at least five times. It's been a while, but with the announcement that The Walking Dead is concluding after Season 11, at least the main show, I decided to watch all the episodes over again and get them all on this channel. So, we start the episode off with something that obviously happens in the future, not super long in the future, but hours in the future, as we see Shane back at the house shaving his head in the bathroom. And then we go to the last thing that we saw from the previous episode. Shane and Otis are missing for hours, and they should have been back by now. So Herschel informs Rick and Lori that he must perform surgery on Coral without the necessary equipment. Now, Andrea and Daryl go out in search of Sophia, following Carol weeping for her loss. Daryl tells Andrea about his childhood and expresses hope that they will successfully locate Sophia. They stumble upon an abandoned campsite where a person had committed suicide by hanging themselves from a tree and now has become an undead walker. Daryl insists that they leave the walker alone because he ain't hurt no one, but Andrea firmly refuses. He asks her if she wants to continue leaving, to which she gives Daryl some uncertainty. But Daryl decides to euthanize the walker as they leave and put the walker out of its misery. Upon returning to the camp, Dale attempts to reconcile with Andrea by returning her handgun. So one episode he's taking it away, and the next episode he's giving it back. Uh, make up your mind. Anyway, Glenn and T-Dog, otherwise known as Theodore Douglas, journey to the Green family home slash farm. There, Glenn begins to pray for the well-being of his fellow survivors and fall in love with Herschel's daughter, Maggie. T-Dog does indeed receive medical treatment for the blood poisoning. Meanwhile, 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 Carl goes in and out of consciousness and briefly recalls his encounter with the deer before going into a seizure. Now, a distraught Lori tells Rick to put an end to Carl's suffering, but Rick, of course, insists on keeping him alive because they still hold hope. Lori wanted to do away with Carl right, right then and there, probably because she didn't want to have anybody else babysit him. Hey, can you look on Carl? Can you look it on Carl, Carl? Yeah, watch on his trailers for that. Anyway, at the high school, Shane and Otis split up after struggling against a horde of walkers. Both injure their legs while escaping, slowing their progress down. Shane and Otis seemingly are out of options for survival. They begin to limp back to the trunk, the truck, eventually running low on ammo. Now, Rick and Lori decide to do the operation without the necessary equipment. As they prepare for the operation, Shane arrives with the medical supplies, but without Otis. He claims that Ogus, Otis, not Ogus, <laughs> sacrificed himself in order to save Carl. Then the episode flashes to show Shane sacrificed Otis by shooting him in the leg and leaving him as bait for the walkers while he escaped with the medicine. And then, of course, the episode ends in the present with Shane shaving his head in the bathroom, wiping out evidence of a bald spot that was torn by Otis during a brief scuffle they had. And that's that's it for this episode. This episode showed how like loyal Shane is for Lori and Carl, or Carl, uh, or, and Rick to a certain degree. And he will do practically anything. Uh, we see more of Maggie, Herschel's daughter. Obviously, she's very important in the comic books, as well as the TV show. And she gets a lot more to do as she eventually becomes the leading lady on this show for a time period. And uh, we see their, the, 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 the future for her and Glenn starts in this episode. Uh, T-Dog is a really good character, and it's, it's great seeing him again. Carol is terrible in the beginning, and Daryl is amazing. I really like early Daryl. 
because later Daryl is very anti-social and grunts a lot, where this Daryl actually finishes his sentences. Uh, so it's kind of a nice change of pace from the current time of The Walking Dead. Daryl's getting a little bit better as of late, but like season four, five, six, seven, Daryl was terrible. Eight, nine, I don't know, some of nine at least. So as far as the score for the episode, this is a really good Shane episode. It's annoying seeing Carl laying there getting blood over and over again. I'm going to give it an 8.6 out of 10. Solid stuff. Really liking season two thus far. It's a good, good change of pace from the, the characters that we have now. These original characters were amazing. Especially Shane, even T-Dog, and uh, Daryl was really good. And, of course, Dale. I love Dale. Everybody knows that. So, 8.6. You know what I think. Of course, I want to know what you think. So if you're a fan of The Walking Dead and you absolutely love this series, it's your favorite show of all time, and when the show started, it changed your life. And it kind of did change my life. Go ahead and smash that like button. If you hate The Walking Dead and are annoyed by listening to this video of me talking, because I'm a talking head, go ahead and hit the not like button. If you know anybody else that would be interested in either watching or listening to this video, go ahead and share the video with them, and then let them know that they can share with anybody that they know, whether they're a casual fan or a super fan. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comment section. That could be what your favorite moment of the episode was, your score of the episode, your favorite character of the episode, anything you could think of, theories... Don't go past this point, though. No spoilers. And, of course, last but not least, don't forget to hit that sub button, subscribe to this channel, join the team, show your support, and be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.